Welcome to Living Healthy Chicago, I'm Jane Manzaris. Let's start by talking about the connection between relationships and hearing loss. Being able to communicate with your family is key to quality of life. And that's something this next man couldn't agree with more. He says getting help for an inner ear disease has made him confident he'll keep up with the conversation for years to come. For Bill Lindbergh, there's nothing more precious than quality time with his wife and being on the move. Val and I, we love doing active things together. We love to go for walks together on the weekend. I try to be active in, my, in maintaining my health. He says seeing other family members struggle with health problems inspired their active lifestyle choices. I didn't want to be that person that uh, was you know, sitting on the couch in pain when I'm uh, 65 or 70 years old. I want to be someone that's active and can still do things. But despite his proactive approach, Bill hasn't been without his own health challenges. I've had ringing in my ear for as long as I can remember, so at least 20 or 30 years I've had ringing in my left ear. That ringing eventually progressed into episodes of vertigo, which brought him in to see his doctor and led to a diagnosis of Meniere's disease. Meniere's disease is an inflammatory disease of the inner ear, and patients with Meniere's disease will suffer recurrent bouts of vertigo, hearing loss, uh, and tinnitus or pressure changes in their ear. We don't really know what causes Meniere's disease. The majority of patients only have that disease in one ear. They don't have it in both ears. You tend to have a progressive inflammatory problem of the inner ear. The first thing doctors had Bill do was start medication and change his diet. In Meniere's disease, salt intake can be related to uh, exacerbated bouts of vertigo. So we asked the patients to try to keep to a minimum salt intake. Eventually over time, I, start, I had less dizziness and it was able to control the dizziness more with medication. Bill was also fitted with a hearing aid to help him handle hearing loss. But after several years, he began to struggle with speech recognition and grew concerned about the future. I was kind of thinking to myself, is this how I'm going to be when I'm older? I didn't want to be this old person that everybody loved but couldn't communicate very well with. So I wanted to make sure that I, uh, I could do everything I possibly could to be able to continue to work and to continue to communicate with my family. The cochlear implant is the tool that we have that allows us to improve patients' speech understanding. I'm good, Melissa. How are you doing? Hearing aids, for the most part, will uh, increase the volume for the patient, but they will not increase the sound clarity. The cochlear implant is the thing that could give them both. Bill decided to move forward with the implant. I had to wait for the, a month for the implant activation because everything needs to heal up in there. I was eagerly waiting for that. I was very, very excited for that day. Bill began to practice using his implant and soon saw a big difference. My word recognition is over 85% now with the, with the implant. I have better sound range actually with the implant ear. I feel great about where I'm at, much more hopeful for the future. I'll be able to communicate well and not just sit on the couch because I can't participate in the conversation. The vast majority of patients who receive a cochlear implant uh, will respond that their quality of life is greatly improved. There's a lot that we can do for hearing loss. There are treatment options out there for progressive inner ear disease. I think it is life-changing for me because I'm going to be able to communicate, so don't give up. If you're experiencing hearing loss, the hearing aid isn't helping anymore. Keep working at it. Keep looking for other options. There's always hope.